Hey everybody, welcome back. Well, today is a beautiful day. Uh, the new assignment I'm on at work allows me to get out early. So I thought I'd come home and get some work done. We will be down on our homestead property in three weeks. Actually, less than three weeks. Um, so it's very busy around here right now. And one of the projects that I have to get done is this deck, which our gazebo used to sit on. I'm going to take this apart. This is pressure treated wood. And I'm going to build the side rails up on my camper. That way, uh, things will be more secure. We'll put a lot of stuff on that this trip down. Uh, a good chunk of our belongings are going to go down and go into storage. So, I'm going to get taking this apart and see how far I can get. Okay guys, Rocco's here to supervise. Are you supervising Rocco? Good boy. Don't let me slack off. out of them. I lost two boards. The rest of them can all be salvaged. Hey guys, we're back. Different clothes, different day. So we've got to get these nails taken out. I've got two ways I can do that. So I can either use a side cutter, I can use a sawzall. Well, the side cutter is pretty fast, but it does leave a burn mark. And I'd still have to bend these off and there's a little sharp part. I definitely like the sawzall better. It does scrape up the wood but it doesn't leave that burn mark and the nails down there Nice and flush. Hey Rocco, you come to supervise? Alright guys, so it was raining earlier today and it's going to rain a little bit later on but I'm going to try and get this taken apart and uh, get it stacked up, get all the nails and hardware out of it. Recovery is over. 
a little bit of a mess to clean up over here but other than that we're in good shape we can start drilling the holes in the side of the trailer let me show you what I did so I took and I made a little wooden jig that jig is gonna sit just like that then we're gonna clamp it and drill through it I already did one so let me show you what that looks like I think that's gonna work out just fine uh, I'm gonna go through and get all these drilled out I'm gonna put you guys up on the tripod and try and get this part of it done I just got the last holes drilled. And it's starting to rain again. So I'm gonna get all my stuff put away and get back up on the deck. That's gonna do it for today. We're gonna go get the hardware and we're gonna start putting this thing together. All right, different clothes, different day. We're back at it. It's Friday now, so that's a good thing. I gotta get some cuts made before um, three o'clock when people start checking in here at the campground. Nobody wants to go to a campground to relax and listen to a circular saw. So, in nine cuts to make, we're gonna try and get that done. You gonna supervise today, Rocco? Huh? You gonna keep an eye on me? Make sure everything's okay? All right, good boy. same template that I used to drill the holes in the trailer and I drilled holes in the wood so everything should match up I, I went and got carriage bolts so let's get it all bolted up and see what it looks like side vertical pieces on and tighten down tomorrow I'll screw on all of my horizontal pieces all right I got my two front verticals up and I got my side rail marked out I got some quick grips on there to hold the board in place and we're ready to draw in the first screws
side done, you can see that it's staggered. What I'm going to do is fill in these pockets in the front and the back. And what that's going to do is, instead of it all being seamed here and making this part loose, it makes the whole wall a little bit more stable. So, I'm going to move on to the other side. ends cut off all the pieces that need to get cut off and I'll be done so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get all of that taken care of and I'll show you the finished product guys it is complete all done all buttoned up it's ready to go down to the homestead which we actually will be taking this down to our homestead in less than two weeks this time in two weeks I will be standing on my homestead property so thanks a lot for coming along hope you enjoyed it have a good one we'll see you on the next one bye